Well, I want to first of all, Kay Dushy, to wake his gold and talk to Callaghan. Thank you, Deputy Callaghan, for bringing this motion forward here tonight. And I heartily welcome uh, Shane's mum and dad and four sisters here tonight. This motion here before us this evening is a testimony yet again to the loving and, and determined perseverance of Shane's mother, father and sisters, and I salute them. It is a scandal of the highest order that such efforts have been made <coughs> repeatedly to try and bring into the light the full facts as they relate to the tragic and untimely, unavoidable death of a young man. This young man. We would, uh, where would be if Shane's mother and family had allowed themselves to be beaten down by the weight and might of a judicial um, system that seems to care nothing for the truth? I mean that, Minister. Don't say it lightly. Uh, and only concerns itself with hiding the facts. On the 14th of June 2018, a majority of the Dáil members voted in favour of a motion calling for a public inquiry into the death of Shane O'Farrell. This was followed by unanimous vote in the Senate. Support for this motion demonstrated that the majority of the Dáil and Shannon were and are satisfied with the, invest with, uh, with the investigations established to establish the full facts surrounding the multiple failures of the criminal injustice process to prevent the death of Shane O'Farrell. Multiple failures. You should hang your head in shame, Minister. This motion here before us this evening is a testimony yet again to the long and determined perseverance of Shane's mother and, and father and sisters, and calls on the government to acknowledge that the pattern of justice equality in terms of reference do not address, do not address the needs of either the O'Farrell family or the resolution of the Dáil, 14th of June 2018, and in terms of reference for the scoping exercise, as drafted by the late, by, uh, former Judge Gerard Hawken, who consulted with the O'Farrell family, and they appreciate that, which, which terms reflect the spirit of the resolution of the House, and they are laid before us. Nothing less than this uh, would satisfy the family, O'Farrell, Shane O'Farrell's family, and they are right, and I salute them. I salute Mrs O'Farrell, because they're doing this, they will never have Shane uh, Young's life restored to them. But they're doing this in the interest of other families and other people and other terrible, I won't call it an accident, it was an incident of outrageous proportions to be stopped by the guards only an hour beforehand. This person who should have been out of the country and was wanted in, several, in other jurisdictions, disgraceful. And that's going on under your nose day in, day out, Minister. And we had Deputy Greenish today stand up here, and I hate to digress, uh, talk about a uh, situation of scamming in this country, of money's being exported, and we were all shouted down as racist. We're not racist. If any, you're racist against your own people. This man shouldn't have died, and his family shouldn't have to beg and scrape and, and, and borrow. And I support his neighbours who came with her last week, Mrs. O'Farrell, outside the gate. And I, we met them at a very early time, Independence. You didn't want to know him or meet him. All promises, empty promises. Justice must be done, and not only must be done, but it must be seen to be done, and it's not been done. There's something very rotten, Minister, sincerely rotten, Minister, in your Department of Justice that you're involved in. It's not only this, it's in the prison officers, cover up after cover up, bullying, intimidation. Very rotten in the state of Denmark, very rotten in the Department of Justice. And you know that, Minister, you're going out of it very shortly, I suppose, when the next election will be. But you're, you should stand up as a proud cockman and say, what's going on? The cover ups, the slime, the bullying, the mistreatment of ordinary people. It's disgusting day in, day out. We saw it in the Gaddish corner with our friend from Cabin. It's going on in the Department, in the prison officers, unbelievable intimidation, intimidation of good people. Oh and you sit by and let it go ahead. You should be hanging your heads in shame.